Hey you guys, Vanessa coming back to you guys. I wanted to come and share with you guys my famous um, Brussels sprouts that Ebony and I love and um, other friends and you know people who have tasted them. But anyway, this is what I do. I hope you can see here. I just cut the top off for the box. Yes, baby. Yes. Yeah, Brussels. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. She loves Brussels sprouts. But these are not organic. Yes. And I give her organic. Oh, I might try to give her these tonight. I don't know. And that means I'm having two packs. These things are ridiculously expensive. As we're gonna leave my phone. How much was this? How many pounds? This is a little over one and a half pounds. So what I do, put them here and I rent. Clean them, clean them, clean. You can soak them if they seem to be a little dry. You can just soak them in water. Sometimes I do that. It brings it back to life, <laughs> so to speak. It just makes them a little more moisturized or tender is what I'm trying to say. The word tender. I hope y'all doing fabulous. My baby loves Brussels sprouts, both of them. A little small cabbage. After I have fully washed them, or soaked them and then washed them, I'm just shaking the excess water off. And then I'm going to dump it in my glass. This is like over full and I have other things. Hold on. Don't be a little loud right now. The key to having some good Brussels sprouts, you don't want to crowd them up in the pan. You want to give them some room to, you know, live. <laughs> give them some room to, um, you know, enjoy themselves. This is just some olive oil. I never use coconut oil. Um, but I'm sure that is way better. This is just some Celtic sea salt. It's not coming out that much with some of my rice. Isn't that too much uh, salt? Oh, no, baby. Hello? <laughs> I'm, st I'm here doing a video. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but can I call you right back? Oh, no, this is different. Okay, <laughs> all right, bye. That's my sis calling. Hey, Paula. <laughs> Okay, this is mm, Grand Diamond All Purpose. This is a new seasoning that I've been using. Um, did I use pepper? <laughs> and then this is some, a little cayenne pepper. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put that. Hopefully, we can eat this without as many. Look at it, y'all know she don't miss nothing. 
She heard me call her name and she paused and looked at me. She don't miss nothing. Nothing, y'all. I'm gonna use uh, fresh pepper. And I'm gonna use, okay, put that in last. This is some garlic. No, this is all. I know I got the other seasoning, but I want to put some of this. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. A second. Got this from BJ's. It's like Costco. I might do a seasoning giveaway one day. This is garlic. Garlic and sea salt. It's not that much salt I put in this. And then I'm putting this black pepper. I mean, if you have problems with uh, high blood, then I wouldn't recommend putting all that. Oops. Wipe that off. But get in there. Put your clean hands in there. If I had some vegan butter, I would put that in here. And I'm going to roast these. And just drop the leaf. Just making sure everybody's in the party, having fun. Yeah. Okay. They should be all happy. I hope I can fit this in the oven because cooking for my husband. <sighs> my oven is on 400 degrees right now, and I have some potatoes in here, and I'm roasting these. <laughs> Boy, cooking this and being not eating meat. Yeah, but I, I'm turning it because I'm, uh, okay, there we are, I'll come back and show you guys the final results of my famous Brussels Y'all be blessed. Oh, if you try, let me know. Whoa, that didn't even take 10 minutes.